So after two long years, the team is finally ready to hit the road again, and it's nice to be able to see amazing places around the world, and it's been a long time coming, but we finally made it out to Barcelona for the Mobile World Congress 2022 with Oppo, and I want to give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this trip. <laughs> It's just so incredible that there's like a cutting edge tech event in this beautiful city where there's like a lot of modern architecture as well as like classic designs that we're seeing right here. And I feel like that's what travel is all about. I can totally see why people always feel inspired by new ideas. And although like having a huge pause from travel was nice to be able to focus on like the videos and stuff, it is nice to get back on the road again because the travel series was such a big part of the content in 2019. So we are really focusing on the cameras and this phone is equipped with a 50 megapixel main camera with a five axis stabilization, as well as a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 13 megapixel telephoto camera, and all of the great video features that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. But yeah, in this video, you guys are gonna see us tour the booth and checking out some of the cool tech at a trade show that is very similar to like CES, where you just get to see all the big innovations that many companies in the mobile world are working on, but also like just 10 minutes away we're out here in this beautiful alley about to head out to the beach and have an amazing lunch so even though I am really tired and the body's just getting used to traveling again I absolutely love coming to Europe it's hands down my favorite destination to visit in general and it's actually my first time in Barcelona it's a long time coming we were supposed to actually come here in 2020 but it got cancelled last minute unfortunately um, but yeah it's really nice to be back and I think having that break just brings back a huge appreciation for travel as a whole Now that we're settled in, we've made it to the beach after a morning of filming to meet up with the team and grab some food. As a food lover, I never pass up an opportunity to try out some authentic food. It's one of my favorite ways to experience a new culture and view of the Mediterranean isn't too bad either. I'm not typically someone who enjoys tapas or seafood in general to be honest, but we had to get our hands on some paella and other classic Spanish tapas. So of all the cameras, there's one in particular that I've been using a lot this trip, and that is the ultra-wide camera. It actually has a 50 megapixel Sony IMX sensor, which gives you the option to shoot in a high resolution mode, but otherwise is usually down sampled just to give you better low light performance. And in general, what I really liked about it is that it had very minimal distortion. It still let in plenty of light at an f2.2 aperture, and at the same time has a great autofocus system. So as you kind of go into like the different alleys and cathedrals, you just like are able to open up that wide angle camera and get a beautiful photo. So this is definitely one of my favorite spots from the trip. Uh, it's just right next to the beach, but it just shows like a lot of great color. You have like the blue skies and everything. You can see it's all very well exposed. And at the same time, the AI technology is able to recognize that it's in a building and it can optimize the photo accordingly. Let's get that photo right there and see how it turns out. We've kind of just been taking photos of everything on the ultra wide camera, especially in Europe where there's a lot of like different narrow areas. This allows you to really take advantage of that ultra wide camera. So aside from exploring Barcelona and trying the great food, as well as testing out the camera of the Oppo Find X5 Pro, we were here for the Mobile World Congress 2022. 
It was our first trade show in a while and it brings back all the great memories that every tech lover is here to enjoy and it was really cool getting to browse all of the new and exciting tech developments in the world of phones specifically but also in other areas of mobile technology. And Opal themselves had a great showcase of their new flagship smartphone, concepts that they've been working on in the past and also ones that are going to be coming out in the future as well as incredible fast charging technology so here's a quick tour of the booth. So here we are at Opal's booth at MWC 2022 and I'm just going to like walk through, show you some of the exhibitions that they have put together as well as like the starting point here which is the Find X5 lineup including the Find X5 and the Find X5 Pro that we've been testing out for the last couple weeks and have also taken it around to showcase the camera technology in Barcelona. So yeah, this is the phone that we have, as you can see the beautiful ceramic finish that we have in the white color. The next part of this kind of showcase is some of the futuristic technologies that Oppo is working on. This is something in particular that I found pretty cool. It actually has the under screen camera that is blended in right here and as you can see we just enable the front facing camera and I have no idea where it's actually placed. So being able to utilize that entire screen real estate is very very innovative and I look forward to seeing this on like a consumer device sometime in the future. Um, this is just like a very light prototype right here but Oppo has been working on this tech since 2018. So perhaps the most exciting thing that I'm here to show you at MWC from Oppo is the 240 watt charging. It is currently not available on a phone but it was announced and there's a demonstration right here and it's just insane that you're able to charge your phone from 0 to 100% in just 9 minutes and 0 to 50 in just 3 and a half minutes. So just showing you guys how this works here on like a demonstration, uh, you just go ahead and plug it in. And right here, it will start to charge the phone right away and give you like a real time estimate of when it's going to reach 100%. You can just see that number climbing continuously, which I think is really, really satisfying. And the way that Oppo has been designing their smartphones is by separating the battery into two different cells so that it doesn't damage the battery if all of it were to be on one and charged at such a speed, such as 150 watts or 240 watts. It is separated into two cells to give you that maximum speed while also regulating the temperature and everything very safely and that is thanks to that brick right here which is actually not that large it is a little bit bigger than like the average smartphone charging brick but overall i think this is definitely one of the technologies of the future that is going to be really really awesome so now we're in the low light experience area of the Oppo Find X line and here I have my Find X Pro as well as the demonstration one right here and we're going to show you guys both like the night mode in photo and video. So that is one of the big features thanks to the Mirror Silicon X NPU which is able to give you 4K HDR night video capabilities but on top of that another area that contributes to great low light photo and video is the 5 axis stabilization. Whenever you're doing low light imagery, stabilization is key because it does have to capture multiple exposures sometimes, for example. But yeah, as you can see here, the 10-bit dual primary cameras, as well as that stabilization and 10-bit color management system all comes together to give you some great results. And even though we have tested low light photo over the years um, and from Oppo specifically, it's nice to see how fast low light photos have become. I remember when it was first a big thing, it would take quite a few seconds to be able to take a photo uh, just because it would would have to capture those multiple exposures but you can see this is like a moving model right here and we were able to capture this to perfect exposure so it was cool to see this test in like a moving scenario but here are some samples from out and about Although I feel like I could spend the whole trip in the city admiring the architecture and enjoying the great food as well as exploring the trade show at MWC, the team and I wanted to make the most of our last day so we took the train up into the mountains to see the legendary monastery of Montserrat. Seeing the Spanish countryside and walking the same stone paths carved in the mountains as these ancient monks felt so surreal. We showed up around sunset and it felt like we had the whole place to ourselves and overall this was the perfect thing to cap off our first trip in two years.
So as we wrap this trip up, the team had a great time here during the week that we spent in Barcelona for MWC. We really look forward to continue bringing back the tech travel series and hope you guys enjoyed us bringing you on this trip with Oppo to Barcelona. So now we're back from Barcelona and let's take a look at some of the photos that we got on the Oppo Find X5 Pro smartphone during this trip. I do like to edit my photos though, so we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite pictures and how I would typically edit them based on some of the presets that I have and some of the basic like modifications in the color that I like to do to match my Instagram feed. So looking at here, this was on the very last day. You can see there's a ton of nice details in the rocks themselves. There's also a good level of dynamic range between like the shadows, a decent amount of contrast, and the sky is also very well balanced. So going into presets here, I'll usually have like a basic film one that definitely brings out quite a bit of color, but at the same time, you don't want it to be like too sharp and too punchy. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, select that. And from there, go into some of the additional settings, including like the detail and like just zooming in here, I do feel like there's already quite a bit of sharpening. So I'm going to reduce that. And typically it is normal for a smartphone to have quite a bit of additional sharpening. Um, and so by being able to like compare the parameters there, you can see how you like it. And in terms of like exposure, to be honest, I don't really have to change much here. It seems to be very, very well exposed. You can see not much is clipped out. And when it comes to the shadows, we can just bring it up a perfect amount there. And you can see just from like the comparison before and after, it does have like a bit of a nice color punch to it, brings out the detail in the rock. And as we go into like the color modes, I'm just going to kind of play around with the yellows here. And I think the greens could definitely use a bit more character, but this green does seem a little bit more blue. So we're just going to adjust it to have a bit of like a warmer tone. And then when it comes to like the actual skies, I usually bring those down a little bit because I do find that they can be quite saturated. So just going to reduce that there. And just like that, um, playing with the hue and also playing around with like the oranges a little bit. I think there's like a pretty good level of balance in this photo. Um, but yeah, you could see like the original photo already looked really, really good. And by adding that like filter or preset, you're just giving it a little bit more character and finishing it up. Um, and yeah, I think that looks really good for this photo. And it's kind of cool to see like up in the mountains, you have like these buildings that are built so close in like a cove. And with the FPV shots that you guys saw earlier in the videos, hopefully it definitely adds to that. The last photo that we're gonna take a look at is just another one that was using the wide angle camera and focusing on architecture. So the first thing I'm going to do do is just straighten it up a little bit. And what I noticed with my week with the Oppo Find X5 Pro is also that the wide angle camera has a very minimal level of distortion. You take a look at like the edges of the image. And even though I do like to crop in just a little bit on wide angle photos, regardless, um, this was actually very good when it comes to keeping the vertical lines straight because you always want to get like that nice sharp angle. And this is like the perfect scenario for that. The only thing here is I do feel like the image is more on the cool side. So once again, I'm going to add like a film preset. And then the first thing I'm going to do is kind of address the white balance. So whether or not we like maybe make the image a little bit warmer, we're actually going into the mix and adjusting like the, uh, the sky intensity, for example. I feel like that overall like already looks really, really good. And we're just going to bring out a little bit more color in the actual stone. These images are definitely more on like the punchy side. I do take a lot of photos that are very minimal and like the, the ultra clean layout, but I do feel like these photos, like and especially like the country of Spain and having a lot of color, is nice to be able to showcase that. So just going to uh, modify that a little bit there. Just play with the hue a few times. And it's all just about experimenting. And a lot of times I would almost recommend like editing your photo, waking up the day after and taking a look at it once again. And a lot of times your opinion towards your color grade the day before is in fact going to change. So I think this looks really good. The sky was corrected. Another edit that could also be done in this photo is to just go into the masking and make a, grady, a linear gradient mask that can kind of go on like the, uh, the ground area. And we could have like a very subtle gradient and just make it a a little bit more desaturated. That way all the attention is like on the main element in the middle and like the side of this beautiful courtyard. Um, and you can see that these are all like very, very quick edits. And just like that, um, I feel like this image is overall well processed. 
So that is our experience with the Oppo Find X5 Pro and the camera in Barcelona, where we brought it around the city, tested it out, took a picture of different types of architecture and nature, as well as like the beach and all that kind of stuff. And there were so many photos that we took, I think like 300 of them, and just narrowing down to a few was very tough, but I just wanted to show you guys how it was to edit and typically how I would edit these photos because I find editing both in video and photo and playing with the colors in post-production the most fun part of the overall process. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And once again, a huge thanks to Oppo for taking us on this trip.